there was actually a lot of steam coming from the car and I did not want to cut off because it won't start again. Um, this motor is in sideways. This is a front wheel drive car. See, they're breaking the law turning around. It's not this serious out here. So I'm gonna look and check. And then I'm gonna turn in the nearest lane. You can hear that turbo boost kick in now, right? Up, oh, I'm gonna get over one lane. And you can see, I don't know if you can see, but this is what it's like out here driving in these type of conditions. Uh, you saw me look down, I was checking the gas gauge, the car's almost empty, and our temperature's in the middle. So I'm gonna make a judgment call. Do I have enough gas to get to the next client? Or should I have the client put gas in the car? So I'm maintaining his speed. Just being patient. It's like a Tesla up there. Imagine driving a Tesla in this type of weather and those battery packs because underneath is a membrane under the battery of the Tesla. And if you go in really, really deep water and you cut that plastic casing and you cut your battery pack, it's done. So I'm just trying to take my time. Now there's a bus up there. I actually had talked to one of the drivers. That bus has 18 cameras. You're saying, what, hold on, what? That bus has 18 cameras. Because people tried to sue the bus company and say they got hit. So the company has, eight, they have 18 cameras on there. So for drivers involved in an accident, ooh, you can hear that water. And also there's hydroplaning, hydro is water. Plane means to lift. So I'm actually looking and trying to make judgments on the road surface. And you should be able to see like me, and these, these headlights are normal. They're not high output lights. You can buy some, you know, I may link in the description. I'll eventually get some. Well, you see all those cars? Up, oh, oh boy, here we go. I'll just stand in water. We caught the edge of it, bruh. Um, we would have lost control and this car would have been flooded. So I'm not trying to have that happen. And you see my face, it's, it speaks volumes. So I'm just trying to be safe out here, be consistent, and just take my time and try to get into a nice little rhythm. Now I'm gonna squeeze my brakes. And people with trucks, they're there over here clowning around, driving too fast. That's not worth it because big trucks like that can get stranded in the water too. So we're not trying to do all that. They're doing too much. They acting out of pocket. So we can see the rear of the tires. Our car was steaming a lot. Now you know the water will get on the engine. The engine is hot and then it will create steam. You know, you took basic science before, right? Please say yes. So um, the car will have a lot of steam. And um, I was trying to smell to see if I smelled something burning because the belt could be spinning that turns the alternator. This car has electric steering, not a hydraulic pump that's pulled by a power steering pulley. Most cars today, this has a big, see, yep, they're in that water doing those rooster tails. So I'm just trying to maintain good speed. And I'm really trying to be safe out here.